Mark and Millet, you know you are not perfect. And you know that the person you are giving your life is also not perfect. But hopefully, your faithfulness to each other will be the way toward perfection. You are here this afternoon not only because you love so much each other, more than what you feel is the blessing that the Lord is giving you because you are God's gift to one another. Did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. Mark, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife. Yes, but... If you are God's gift to one another, what you will become is your gift to God, and that is your mission. Before I pronounce you as married partner, I want you to do, your wedding day is one that seems to fly. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Christopher, Simeon. Okay, Mark, you may now kiss your wife, Milena. As you have experienced in the past, I may not always be physically present, but always remember that I will always be here for you for our future family together. Now, you are my everything. I love you. And I'll do better With every heartbeat I've left I will defend you every breath And I'll do better Cause you are loved You are loved More than you know Do everything to make the potentials that is in each other become a reality. So that ends my homily. You want more? No more.
I get to love with you, care for you, and share with you. I vow faithfulness and patience, respect, and lightheartedness. I will celebrate your triumphs and love you all the more for your failures. I love you.